Now it's going to be a full house at Carrow Road on Sunday for the local derby between Norwich City and Ipswich Town and as always the stakes are high. Let's look ahead to the game now with Charlie Webster. Yes, I'm here at the Skull Inn, which is right on the border of Norfolk and Suffolk. I've got Norwich about 20 miles that way and Ipswich about 20 miles that way. It's the first East Anglian derby of the season and everybody's getting nervous and restless to get the title to be pride of Anglia. But it's not just about pride, it's about the league table as well. Norwich need these three points to steer clear of the relegation zone and Ipswich need the three points to get near the top six. One of the biggest games of the season. Last time out, Ipswich got the bragging rights with a 2-1 win at Portman Road. Despite that, over at Carra Road, the atmosphere is relaxed, as Glen Road had jokingly swapped places with myself, but I'm not sure team? whether I'd want to be in his shoes this Sunday. I'd like to think the players will step up a level. Um, I mean, if, if Jim and Jilton and myself need to spend a lot of time this week motivating the players for this game, well, then there's a problem, and I'm sure Jim won't have to do that, motivating his players, and I know I won't have to do that. Obviously, we'll have meetings where we speak about the opposition and we look at uh, what we think their strengths are and, and, and a few of their weaknesses, and we're trying to exploit the weaknesses. No, I enjoy it. I really should. I absolutely uh, love these games. Uh, I love the price here. I love the fact that, you know, there are uh, this focus of attention on us, and, I, you know, I don't need to motivate. I didn't need motivation as a player in these games, and certainly as a manager, you don't, we, neither of us will, will need motivating our players. Over the years, you can hardly split the two sides. Since the war, the Canaries have won 33 in all matches, with the Tractor Boys with the upper hand with 39. So what does it take to win? I think it's two local sides who are desperate for a result, and it's about the team with the greatest desire will win the game, and, and hopefully that will be us. It's which team shows, if you want, the most bravery on the day. Of course, everyone needs a little, a little bit of luck, and you've got to throw that in as well. But um, I think these occasions, occasions should bring out the best in your players. Meanwhile, the FA have cleared Norwich City from any wrongdoing in the irregular betting allegations in their match against Derby County in October. Tap on the shoulder. What are you doing? What's going on? Now I'd just like to remind you that I am a neutral in this and I'm sitting on the fence. But I'm joined with Neil Adams, a former Norwich City player Doesn't and Radio North the football fence. commentator, <laughs> and Trevor Weimar, former Ipswich town player and Radio Suffolk uh, commentator. Trevor, you've played in a lot of derbies yourself. What's it like as a player? Uh, just like any other game, really. If, if you treat it any like any other game, um, you've got a chance of performing how you do. Once you start to think about it's Norwich, I'm playing against this, I'm playing against him. Things get to, to play in your mind, so you've got to keep a clear mind uh, all the time. But Neil, that must be pretty hard. Surely you, you get nervous. Did you enjoy playing in derbies? Yeah, I was. I played in about eight or nine, and, and they're all unique. And, and as Trevor says, you know, you've got to try and play it down, but very difficult to do that. You know, everybody, uh, all the all the supporters, the fans, the players, the managers, everybody wants to win these games. It's it's a massive game for both clubs, and and obviously at the present time, Norwich need a good result now to get the season up and running. So Trevor, talking of Ipswich, they're obviously away from home, what are we expecting from Jill Magilton? Um, well, away from home they've been getting some good results just recently and he chops and changes the teams which doesn't go down too well with the, the supporters and I think if I was a player I wouldn't want to, to be playing them um, one week and not the other. Uh, so I'm sure he's watched Norwich and he's had his scouts watching them, whether or not he's got something special up his sleeve, we'll have to wait and see. And how about Norwich? Obviously the atmosphere is going to be electric at Carrow Road this weekend. It'll be fantastic. I mean, to be fair, there's been a full house every week for, for three or four years now, so the atmosphere is guaranteed. We've just got to hope that Norwich can just find a little bit of consistency. <laughs> they've, they've been playing well in games, in patches, but they just need really to string together a good 90 minutes. They've done it occasionally. Uh, played particularly well in the first half last week against Sheffield Wednesday, second half the game before against Crystal Palace, but just need to put 90 minutes together now and, and obviously beat Ipswich. Right, really quickly, prediction. I'll go 2 1 Norwich. Trevor, prediction? 1 0 Ipswich. Well, it's up to you Radio Norfolk or Radio Suffolk. Good luck, guys. Thank you very much indeed.